estimation of copper colorimetrically. Let us know little bit about colorimetry. Colorimetry is one of the spectroanalytical method. The variation of the color of a solution with change in concentration of solute in the solution forms the basis of colorimetry. The color is either the inherent color of the analyte itself or due to the formation of a colored species by the addition of a suitable reagent. In colorimetric analysis, light from a suitable source is passed through a filter to produce monochromatic light. The monochromatic light is passed through the solution to be tested when part of the light is absorbed by the solution. The extent of absorption depends on the concentration of the solution and on the path length of the light through the solution. These generalizations are stated in the form of B. Lambert's law. The mathematical expression of B. Lambert's law is given as A is equal to epsilon CT where A is the absorbance, C is the concentration of the solution, T is the path length and epsilon is the molar absorptivity which is constant. The instrument used to measure the absorbance of a colored solution is called colorimeter. For colorimetric estimation of copper, a series of solutions with different concentrations of cupromonium ions is prepared and absorbance of each solution is measured at 620 nanometer radiation against blank. A calibration graph is obtained by plotting absorbance versus volume or concentration. The absorbance of unknown solution is also measured and its volume or concentration is determined using the calibration graph. Now let us see how to carry out this experiment. For this experiment, the instrument used is colorimeter. The filter is fixed to 620 nanometer for colorimetric estimation of copper. For measuring the absorbance of colored solutions, the solutions are transferred into cuvette and the measurements are done. The reagents required for this experiment are standard copper sulphate solution and 1 is to 1 ammonia solution. For carrying out this experiment, we require 650 ml standard flasks. They are labeled as 1, 2, 3, 4, test and blank. In these two burets, already we have filled copper sulphate and 1 is to 1 ammonia solution. In the first four standard flask, 5, 10, 15 and 20 ml of copper sulphate solution has to be added respectively. In the fifth standard flask, test solution is taken. And sixth standard flask is used for blank solution preparation. For all the standard flasks, 5 ml of 1 is to 1 ammonia solution has to be added. Let us start the experiment now. First, I am going to transfer copper sulphate solution to the respective standard flask. This is the first plus, I am transferring 5 ml of copper sulphate solution. Using this burette, 1 is to 1 ammonia solution is added to all the standard plus. For second standard flask, 10 ml of copper sulphate solution is added.
for third standard flask 15 ml of copper sulfate solution is taken. In the fourth standard flask 20 ml of copper sulfate solution is taken. In this standard flask test solution that is unknown solution whose concentration has to be determined is taken. In this standard flask blank solution has to be prepared for which 5 ml of 1 is to 1 ammonia also should be added. After adding 5 ml of 1 is to 1 ammonia solution to all the standard flask the solutions have to be made up to the mark and they have to be kept aside for 5 minutes. Now we will make the solution up to the mark. After making the solutions up to the mark, solutions have to be shaken well and they are kept aside for 5 minutes. After keeping the solutions aside for 5 to 10 minutes, first the instrument has to be calibrated by fixing the absorbance of the blank solution to 0. Now the blank solution is transferred into cuvette and for this solution the absorbance has to be set to 0. This will be shown now. It is done by pressing auto 0 on the instrument. Now we can see that the absorbance of the blank solution is fixed to 0. Now the absorbance readings for all the standard flasks have to be taken. Before taking the reading, the cuvet has to be rinsed with the respective solution. The absorbance reading for the first solution is 0 0.07. Now for the second solution, absorbance has to be measured. For the second solution, the absorbance is 0 0.15. Next for third solution. For the third solution, it is 0 0.22. For fourth solution, the absorbance reading is 0 0.32. Finally, the absorbance for the unknown solution has to be measured. Now, the reading is 0 0.13. All the absorbance readings have to be tabulated in a tabular column. In this, in the last column, the absorbance readings are written. In fourth column, the concentration of the copper in each of the standard flasks is calculated and is written here. Now for finding out the concentration in unknown solution, we have to plot a graph of absorbance versus volume of the copper solution added. The graph is shown here. We have seen that absorbance of the test solution is 0 0.13. In accordance with this absorbance, the volume of test solution was found to be 8 cm cube. For this experiment, the calibration graph is a straight line passing through the origin. The calculations are shown here. 1 cm cube of standard copper sulphate solution 
contains 0.001018 gram of copper. It can be expressed as 1.018 milligram of copper. Volume of copper sulphate in the unknown solution is determined from the graph which is 8 cm cube. Copper present in 8 cm cube of test solution is equal to 8 into 1.018 milligram which is equal to 8.144 milligram. Therefore, mass of copper in the unknown solution is 8.144 milligram. This is the end of this experiment. Viva questions of this experiment are shown.